Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tori. I'm going to bring you a game on Tolbury Malter between myself and Yakros, Yorkus. And uh, we're going to be cross positions, thankfully. And I'm going to do a strategy I rarely do because I don't really feel safe doing it versus Protoss. But I mean, I knew it was race this time, so I just wanted to do it. Just wanted to try it. I know a lot of times, uh, if he would to foregate, would foregate me, I know how to hold it off pretty effectively, as if you've seen in one of my other videos. Or if he fast expands, I won't be behind. And so, yay! I'm scouting because I don't feel safe. And it just looks like he's going to be fast expanding here. Uh, a lot of Protoshes have been just doing the regular uh, Brood War opening, which is Pylon Forge Nexus, or just Pylon Nexus Forge Cannon 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 Cannon. <laughs> I mean, it's really effective. So you can't do much versus it. So, hmm. And he's just going to go forge first. I mean, a lot of openings that Protoss do with this uh, it's pretty normal, I guess. And I see his probe with his, my overlord, so I just move my drone back. And yeah, I'm going to go 15 hatch versus Protoss. Personally, I don't think this is a very safe build. Uh, uh, and that's just due to me being paranoid. I rarely uh, go hatch first versus Terran, but I'm doing it more and more. And so I see his pylon, so I, I don't want this going up because I know he's going to cannon. So I have seen this. Have I? Right? Yeah, I've seen the forge. Well, did you see that? That was like a warp right there. Anyways, I focus on this pylon. And have three of them focus on there. And I just trap him. And he just goes ahead and cancels that. So there's no reason to leave anything there. But I'm going to go ahead and keep my drones on this pylon because there's a uh, chance he might send another probe in and put cannons down while in the probe. And I can't take it out yet because my spawning pool is not even done. That four minutes in the game. But I knew I was safe because he did go of Forge first, thankfully. And I'm not sure when to get this extractor, because I know I want Zergman speed. And if he does go 6 gate or 4 gate on one base, oh, I want to be safer than that so I have Banelings in time. Because Banelings are the shit. Yeah. And right now. He's ahead in probes because he has Chrono Boost. And I also got my hatchery first. So it put me a little farther behind. And I built this line crawler because I felt fancy. Yeah. Still nothing going on. And I'm actually recording this one just after the other one. Uh, so. Yeah, my voice is kind of getting tired, but I'll probably do a third one. And this thing's going to be a longer game because I don't know how to effectively break this without killing my economy. Because as you can see, he's still ahead of probes. But again, I'm just not getting my queens. They're starting their injections. And I'm not moving or doing anything with these limbs yet. I don't know if he's going to push, but I really need to, like, move out. <coughs> Excuse me. Because, oh. I mean, I made these units. I need to do something with them. So I thought about just going out and taking these rocks. But a way I need to stop the front if he's doing anything weird. Yeah. So you can see the numbers better. Or one food away. But, I mean... And he's also chrono boosting this plus one. 
uh, weapons out. And I decided I need to see front pretty badly. I mean, if you see the Protoss' front, uh, most of the time it gives you a pretty good indication of what they're going to be doing. So I'm just going to walk up here and see my vision. I see him chrono boosting this. So I go, hey, I probably need to do something to counteract that in some way. So I go ahead and throw down two Evo Chambers here in a second. So I go ahead and throw down two Evo Chambers here in a second. What am I doing? Yeah, then I go ahead and send them back to attack the destructible rocks. There are the Evo Chambers. Uh... Horrible timing for the loss. So I thought I did it earlier than that. Apparently, apparently my reaction times are crap. Oh wait, I already knew that. I'm gonna put it back on everyone can. I'm gonna move my overlord over his base, see what's happening. And he's just now doing his first round of warp into eight and a half minutes. <laughs> this plus one weapons is finished. And overlord comes in here. I just finished Overload Speed, so it's going to be able to establish the base. I see this Twilight Council, along with these other few gates, so I know what he's probably going to be doing. Or at least I'm going to assume he's going to be going Blink Stalker. Because I didn't see any, uh... What do you call it? DC Shrine, or High Templar Tech. Because the Archon push, I've fished a few times since the patch came out, where Archon's got a little bit of a buff. I mean, they're still not the greatest unit, but I mean, they are effective if the Zerg stays on Zerglings too long. Thankfully, uh, or unfortunately, also, uh, I don't see anything else, I'm still worried. Because you might have something back here, in this corner. You never know, protest does that. Because they can. Anyways, I went up to Hydralisk also because Blink Sockers aren't that great versus Hydralisk, so I was just hoping to be able to do something. Because Blink Hydra pretty much destroys it. Unfortunately, though, we're crossing that, so I won't be able to do a push very soon afterwards. And. With this overlord, I see a few of the stalkers breaking these rocks. I know what he's doing. So I have to go ahead and throw it on my third, because I have taken out the rocks. Some persistent zerglings. I have a few hydras out already. I'm not going to get your spines, because hydralists have. Well, they are effective. But I mean, uh, they don't do that much past the really early game. And so I'm just getting plus one attack and plus one carapace. Carapace is already finished. And that'll help a little with the zealots. And, yeah. So the stalker damage matches the hydralist damage. And how fast is that attack? 1.44? Yeah, that one's 0.8 something. So hydralists are better than stalkers. I have my Link's position back there. I go ahead and do a surround. He knows that he can't win that fight, so he just pulls back. I put my Link's back so I don't have to face the Zealots. I thought about chasing uh, these Stalkers, but I knew they'd do micro and crap, and they have Blink, so I wouldn't be able to surround them at all. I'm getting plus two uh, ranged, also. And I believe now I'm going to start saturating this base here. I'm just so far behind in probes. But I knew I had to fold off that attack somehow. So, I need to sacrifice a few pro production capabilities for a few minutes. I mean, I probably could have thrown a little while. Unfortunately, I know what this transition's into. Wait, where is it? Yeah, Robo Facility. And robotics bay. So that means Colossus! Colossus sucked to deal with Ezerg. And he's just gonna be annoying.
blink around the map and take out my watchtowers. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and threaten him. And hide his. And I do, I'm able to take out one, which is pretty good for me. But I still haven't saturated this uh, third base, which is kind of annoying. And I know that he took his third base. The same place I'm taking mine. So I try and take a fourth base. Unfortunately, these are blink stalkers, and they're really annoying. So he's gonna be popping around. And he's get, he has to suspect that I'm gonna do this because Zergs always kind of want to be on one base above their opponent. So yeah, I'm gonna start saturating this third base now. And he's still not mining off of his, so I feel kind of confident now that I watched the replay. This overlord's still just chilling up here on the ledge. These blink shockers see it. I start attacking it. It almost pops, but I am able to cancel it. And I move these uh, hydras up to see if I can pinch them off. Then I see they're going up to my third base. And so I move my roaches and zerglings also. Because they're just being annoying right now. And because AI is awful, they bottleneck themselves. I lose way too much to these, but I mean, that was quite a big chunk of his army, or at least I thought so. And it actually was. Here comes the second Colossus. And my Spire has finished. Thankfully. I'm making 16 more drones. Oh man. I'm finally ahead of him in drone count now, which makes me feel awesome. I do see these Colossus, so immediately I start uh, corrupted production, seven of them so far. And he tries to blink up here, but you can't. He really wants this overload dead. I don't understand why. And he tries to blink up there again, just moves his stalkers. So yeah, up to producing 12 corruptors now. I still don't have gas at this base. I probably should have done that sooner. And, uh... I'm getting plus two care base. Right now. And he's getting, uh... His... Well, he already has his, uh... Plus three weapons attack. And only plus one armor. I'm gonna go ahead and get my infestation bit. I need to, I know I need to move up to hive and make use of these preppers after I usually take out Colossus. So I'm gonna be going for Brood Lords. Yeah, I'm first getting dry. This is a longer game. Oh well. And he's producing rounds of zealots and Colossus. So he has a lot of units. I would have preferred more sentries in here. But I mean, he doesn't have sentry production capabilities. Oh, he does have a Stargate. Did not know that one. I mean, producing uh, Colossus off of two Robo Bays, you don't have enough gas for anything else. And he has a few auto probes over here. He has seven. Where are the other ones? Oh, well. He's going to camp out on his watchtower for a while. And I know that Hydralis suck versus everything, but they do really good DPS. So I need some meat shields, and these roaches are going to be those meat shields. So I have 2 2 upgrades right now. And his, uh, he's going to be 3 2 when this battle happens. So you know there's going to be a battle. There's always a battle. I'm going to Hive. And take my, uh, fourth base again. And my, uh, fifth base. So I know he's going to be able to take out these somehow. Because before you get four bases or three bases, it's really hard to be able to take out that much stuff. So we're going to circle around each other here. He's going to go back up to my uh, four, third and fourth base. I see that. I'm just going to pull back. Because I know that uh, he's going to be more annoying than I'm going to be to him. And he's also finished his plus two armor. And I honestly thought he had a observer over my army, because I had no idea 
Why are you pulling back? 